Encountering forest giants might seem unthinkable, but not for the people who live within the lesser ecosystem in Indonesia's Aceh province. This vast rainforest near the northern tip of the island of Sumatra is home to Sumatran elephants, one of the largest, most intelligent, and endangered land mammals on Earth. Residents of Chotgire, a village located between a vast palm oil estate and the lesser rainforest in North Aceh district, are witnesses to their exceptional social behavior. We went to the village to see the home range of these elephants and were welcomed by endless stories of their complex emotions and intelligence, which helped the species survive in a fast-changing environment. For Yasmin, a 61-year-old farmer who lives on the forest border in Chotgire, encounters with wild elephants have always been part of her life. She remembers carrying her baby on her back when she and other villagers herded a group of elephants from her crop field back to the forest. A lot has happened since then. Over the past 22 years, Sumatra has lost nearly half its rainforest, largely due to oil palm plantations and logging. Massive deforestation in Sumatra has forced elephants to enter human settlements more often than before. Once, when Yasmin's son was a teenager, he found himself face to face with one of the majestic mammals. Yasmin, watching from afar, was frightened and ordered him to recite the Yatsan, the Muslim call to prayer. <laughs> Kami suruh ajan dia bu itu. Sampai ajan saya. Sampai ajan, ajan tiga kali. Ajan kombat, ajan kombat. Dia maja gajahnya nengok iya aja. Udah mau mas, udah masuk ke ladang itu mau makan kacang kuning kan gitu. Dia ajan ini tiga kali. Ku suruh sama aku sampean. Neng dengeri dia memang. Dia bakal ajankan dia ku bilang. Mana tahu dia dengar sayang mak kita. For Yasmin and many other villagers, that moment proved that elephants are intelligent beings. Junaidi, Yasmin's son, recall several locations when he witnessed the animal's intelligence. Sebenarnya gajah ini sama kayak manusia juga. Dia cuma ingatannya, daya ingatnya, pilihnya itu kuat. Itu tahun 2017, ya. Itu ada gajah liar yang terluka. Gajah terluka. Nah, sudah masuk ke lubang. Cuma karena dia tidak bisa untuk berjalan lagi, dibantu sama kawannya. Saling menolong orang ini. Sama juga seperti manusia. Scientists who have studied elephant behavior and cognition know the animals are highly intelligent. Studies have shown that elephants can recognize their own reflection, use sticks to shoo away flies and scratch themselves, and even differentiate traps of humans by their smells. Zakia Tudin Shah, known as Jack, leads a government conservation team in Jotgire. He has witnessed the Sumatran elephant's complex social behavior. Three years of working with elephants has taught him the intricacies of their intelligence and behavior. Itu pasti kepala rombongannya dulu yang jalan. Kepala rombongan dulu jalan di depan satu ekor lihat kondisi, baru dia membunyikan trompetnya. Kadang dia juga uh, kayak dengkur gitu, suara kayak suara tongkongan. Itu suara memanggilnya. Biasanya kalau toen, eh, kalau trompet itu agak jauh kelompoknya. With the destruction of their habitat, Sumatran elephant herds are getting smaller. Populasinya itu bisa mencapai 100 sampai 150 an ekor satu klan ya. Karena saya pernah lihat itu sampai 108 ekor ya. Saya pernah lihat langsung tu. Tapi sekarang enggak enggak ada. Sekarang tu dah paling satu klan itu. Sekitar 40, 50 itu udah kelompok besar dari strategi gajah sendiri dengan luasan habitat yang semakin sempit, dia memperkecil populasi. Scientists have shown that elephants in general have an impressive learning ability. There have been no studies specifically on Sumatran elephant cognition, but stories from Aceh strengthen this idea. Dengan itu sudah dipasang barrier, barrier yang berbentuk power fence. Jadi kan beberapa waktu, beberapa bulan kita nggak bisa lewat tangan. Per laporan kawan-kawan kan ada tiang fencing yang dirubuhkan, karena kan tiangnya nggak 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 ada daya kejut. Jadi sekarang metodenya mereka menumbangkan tiang tersebut. Across Aceh, home to nearly half of all wild Sumatran elephants, people who live on the forest border bear witness to the species' intelligence. Widespread deforestation in Sumatra has slashed the elephant population by more than 50% over the past two decades. According to the Indonesia Statistics Agency, in Aceh and the Lesser Ecosystem, oil palm expansion has increased steadily since the early 2000s. 
reaching approximately 450,000 hectares in 2018. This forces the elephants to search food in villages and plantations, creating more conflicts on the ground. In Aceh alone, four to five conflicts are reported every day. To keep elephants away from people, the government has put up barriers at various locations, from electrified fences to rows of plants disliked by the elephants. But the elephants are good at tackling these barriers. Jack sees the animal smartness as a symbol of greatness. Born and raised in the nearby town of Sidley, Jack knows Sumatran elephants have long been part of Ajani's culture. Knowing this history, Jack says he always respects the elephants, a principle he applies in the field. Most villagers use loud noises, such as firing a homemade plastic cannon to shoot the elephants away, but not him. Saya paling paling tidak suka sebenarnya menggunakan mercon. Cukup dengan disuruh mundur aja. Nah, jadi kalau masih bisa dengan kita mengarahkan dengan mulut, ayo mundur dengan baik-baik. Berarti kita nggak menciptakan permusuhan antara dia dan kita. As for Yasmin, she views elephant intelligence as an opportunity to kindly communicate with the animals. Jelek dia tahu. Tahu dia. Nah, ya kalau kita itu kalau ngomong dendam dia. Heeh, kayak orang dendam. Tahu dia. But not all villages treat the elephants with such respect. Frustrated with the ingenuity of the elephants raiding their crops, some villages and plantation owners have resorted to shooting and poisoning them. In a recent case in Riau province, villagers poisoned a pregnant elephant. As a result, the rest of the herd ran a mob, uprooting trees in the village and trumpeting loudly. The elephants listen, learn, feel, and think like us. Sometimes, attacking them only leads to more conflicts. Conservationists agree that conserving Sumatran elephants' habitat is the best solution. By conserving them, we also contribute to keeping the forest ecosystem healthy. As long as the elephant habitat continues to be destroyed, human-elephant conflict will persist. And that will only push the species closer to the brink of extinction.